It's no mystery to me why Agatha Christie felt inspired to write Death on the Nile here at the Old Cataract in Aswan. This is the Nile at its most beautiful, with the white sails of the Felucas gliding down the river, watching the sun set over the desert, listening to the calls of the Muezzin to prayer, and then having the ultimate in an English high tea. We're here on the westernmost tip of um, southwest Wales um, and we're actually walking the Pembrokeshire Coast Path which runs for about 187 miles all the way from Amroth round to Poppet. But an interesting new development for us this year is an all Wales coast path. By the end of this year you'll be able to walk for nearly a thousand miles going all the way around the, uh, the border of Wales completely. But if you're not up for such a long walk you can do lots of shorter walks using the inland uh, footpaths of Pembrokeshire as well and that'll take you to some of the most stunningly beautiful wild and remote parts of Pembrokeshire. with the idea to beam our first gig into space at the speed of light. That way we, uh, we overtake the 1977 Voyager probes in about an hour and a half. Which has the Beatles, Rolling Stones and Mozart on it. So we do actually beat them to uh, Andromeda. Andromeda, yeah. yeah, which is 2.5 million light years away. Most of the people speak about the Sphinx Avenue, but I want to tell you that it should, we should say Sphinx Avenues because they are different routes, different faces, different kings. <laughs> the name The Pig, well, we were trying to deliberately pull back from that um, rather stuffy and sometimes boring country house thing. If it sounds a bit like a pub, then I'm delighted because I want people to think of it as, a, as an everyday experience, not just save it up for the special occasions. It had a, a beautiful but unused walled garden and actually we planted it and we got uh, a very interesting man, Mike Klein, who's, who's our kitchen garden consultant, and we started developing the walled garden. You might think that comic books are just about superheroes, and believe me, there are a lot of comic books all about superheroes. But there's starting to be a small clutch of books that are doing very, very different things. They've been emerging over the past 20 years. As a sign of how big they've become, two of them have now been shortlisted for the Costa Award. It's really liberating, actually. It's really nice just to kind of go get your kit off, and yeah, yeah, that's really good. Rather than being naked, it was more being part of Spencer's work, that's what I wanted to do. I have never done anything like this at all. The initial kind of dropping of pants was a bit daunting, but as soon as they were off, it just it felt was completely so natural. It was like... People that you wouldn't even normally talk to, and suddenly you're having this really tactile yeah. experience. It was really lovely. The house is grade two star listed. I get a feeling it would be grade one listed if it was done now, but it was sort of off the map, the house. But the, then they came to regrade just the gardens and decided it was grade one. But largely because it's an, it was designed to really flow out of the house. There's formal gardens, sort of croquet lawn, a bit of meadow, a, quite a lot of woodland round that sort of encloses it. Fantastically beautiful wall garden. I 
suppose being a creative person, I really wanted to put my identity onto something. And it was really a space and an area where I really wanted to, I suppose, express what I was about at the time. I just wanted the backdrop to be white and then really get the hats and everything to really pop out. This is the rooftop bar of the Me Hotel, uh, the hottest new hotel opening in London, and uh, the obvious venue for the Sunday Times Travel Magazine, Reader's Week 2012. Uh, in that noisy bar there, we have the great, the good, and the greedy of the travel world, all hoping to get their hands on a gong, the coveted Sunday Times Travel Magazine, Reader's Award 2012. If Happy Days or Hairspray were a place, they'd be Wildwoods on New Jersey's southern shore. Just three hours drive from New York, this is an all-American answer to Blackpool, with one of the best beaches in the country, usually pretty good weather, and a slew of retro kitschy motels. Wildwood, I, I first came to know and, and love as a small child because we would vacation in the next community over, Cape May. And the highlight of that summer vacation was when my mother would bring me to Wildwood for the day on the boardwalk. Everything about it was like cotton candy. I mean, you, you just couldn't get enough of it. All the houses that were used in Downton Abbey were filmed right round this very small square. Indeed, some of the houses on the edges of the square were filmed as post office and pubs and that kind of thing as well. This is the village church of Downton, so all the family weddings take place there and indeed their funerals. Um, and there, there are, it, it, it is also used as a backdrop for quite a lot of the village green scenes, which is where the fair was held. We have been looking for a house in the country to buy, restore as a country home. And of course, when we looked at it, we fell in love with the place. We found it absolutely magical. A lovely big architectural building in pleasant countryside, not too far from a town. A place that hadn't been restored so we could restore it back to its original condition. 